Hello everyone, it's Brittany from The Pretty Plus, and today I'm sharing with you my February 2021 budget review. I do want to point out, I have a fan going, I'm pregnant and hot, so if you can hear the fan in the background, I'm very sorry, but I'm not turning it off. So I'm going to get right into our finances this month. Things turned out very differently than I thought that they would. We ended up getting our tax refund um, in February instead of March as we had planned, as well as um, Brett transferred a balance from his account to our joint account. So we had a lot more money this month than we typically do. So with that being said, we did a few things differently than we had planned on. And I will touch on those when I get to them, as long as I remember them. Um, but our normal things, mortgage 680, car payment 360, our phones were 166, our internet was 91. It was 91 last month as well, and I have had it on my list to call them for like five weeks now, and I haven't done it because I keep failing. I keep forgetting everything. Um, if you've ever been pregnant, there comes a point where you just like don't remember anything. And even if I write it down, like, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that. And like five minutes later, I just forget. But I wrote it in like huge letters in my planner to call this week. So I'm going to call and try to get it figured out. I think that like our year was up where they do that like introductory and I'm going to talk them back down to something else. So that is that. Um, budgeted $200 for our gas and electric. I figured it would be higher. Last month was like $250, um, but it was $230 this month, so over by $30 there. Daycare, we saved $625 to pay for all of March. Um, it's five weeks this month, five Mondays. So um, $625 is the amount that we pay. $12 for Hulu. Um, we I had budgeted, I think, $300 for groceries. We changed that pretty early on once we found out that we were getting um, our taxes earlier because I wanted to do like a few more of those stock ups and I have those link I'll have them linked for you in the description or you can just check out my videos. Um, I did a Trader Joe's stock up which was like huge. A lot of like frozen foods and things like that and um, meats and then a Walmart like pantry stock up. And then I did a little bit of a stock up at Aldi, but not as much as the other two. Um, so we spent $643 last month. Well, that doesn't seem right. I guess it is. $643 last month um, on groceries. And already this month I'm seeing that it's helping out greatly. We don't have to spend nearly as much per week. I don't have to go to the store as much. <laughs> I still have to go to the store because I have to get fresh foods, but anyway, so I had planned on spending six fifty, and so we were seven dollars under our extended budget, but that's not saying a lot. <laughs> Didn't spend anything on Joey and North; they had everything that they needed. Um, medical bills paid three hundred dollars toward my doctor bill for my pregnancy for when he delivers the babies. Um, nothing for debt payments. Budgeted $50 for restaurant, and we went over by $68. We went to McDonald's, Cheesecake Factory. I had a gift card for Cheesecake Factory, so that's why it was only $13. Cafe Buwandi was kind of a celebration breakfast for Brett and I, and it was actually okay. It wasn't the best. The latte was really good. The meatballs were really good if you're in the indie area. I suggest trying it, but it, it's, it's okay. Anyway, um, we used a check from um our grandma and brett had a 20 dollar bill in his car like an emergency 20 in his car um that we decided to remove so um 50 dollars is what we like put in there to take care of cafe blondie and then we still spent more we got papa john's at my mom's house one night um, like we bought pizza for everyone taco bell clara's favorite and then Brad and I went to Applebee's. Do you ever get just get a craving for something? Applebee's was it for me. And it was actually pretty good. The triple chocolate meltdown, though. Mm. So $118 is what we ended up spending after the $50 that we had it in there. So 
we were over. We always are. I don't know what to say. Um, we had $250 budgeted for gas. Gas was really expensive, um, in our area this month. So we did go over. It was $279. So over by $29. We had $80 for our allowances, $30 for me, and $50 for Brett. And then, um, sinking funds. Insurance, travel, presents, and Mason are just monthly sinking funds for us um, for 115, 75, 60, and 115 respectively. And then we have January through April car and house sinking fund. That was $300. I plan on doing $100 for the twins this month, but instead I ended up doing $500 so that we can do less in March and April. And then the kids' expenses, they got to us, didn't they? $150 is what I budgeted. $580 is what I spent. And I'm like, what did I even spend that on? Let's find out. $205 on diapers and wipes at Target, which it, every, like, each $100, we got $20 back in a Target gift card. So that wasn't super horrible. Um... And we are doing like a diaper stock up for the twins. So we don't have to buy diapers often, if at all. Probably just exchanging some sizes here and there um, for after they get here. Um, Clara got her first haircut. $15 for that. Um, I got Clara a little purse for Valentine's Day. She hates it. So that was a great, great purchase. <laughs> Um, we bought a crib mattress. We have both, actually all three of the cribs that we have are hand-me-downs. One of them had a horrible mattress. So I bought a new one and then Clara thought it was her bed. So I ended up switching out and it is more of like a firm, it's for babies and toddlers, but it felt more like something Clara would enjoy sleeping on and she has a good mattress on her bed already, but we just switched it out. So Clara got the new mattress and then the twins one of them will use Claire's old mattress and then the other one had a great mattress on it so and then the fourth crib mattress we have is like springy I don't trust it for babies kids like little kids but my niece is a four and she stays with us like one one night a week usually every Friday and um we've been storing that under our bed because she sleeps in our room when she's here um on the little bed that we pull out and make up for her. So that worked out pretty well. 69 bucks for that from Bye Bye Baby. I had like a 20% off coupon. And then I did my target registry completion. If you are pregnant or have been pregnant or plan on being pregnant, Target does. If you do a registry there at the end, like I think it's like two months before your due date, they give you a 15% off coupon. They actually give you two. They give you one to do in the store and one to do in the like online so i did the online one i got a bunch of stuff that we were needing we we don't need a ton we got spoiled by our family and yeah so anyway 150 bucks there amazon does the same thing walmart does the same thing and baby list i believe does it as well and then twin room stuff very vague there I think it's like some artwork and I don't know what else. Uh, stuff for the room. I don't remember. $111. So $580 is what I spent there. Um, so all that being said, we were over budget by $576 this month. But that's okay because I think we had planned on having like four, like around four thousand five hundred dollars maybe less than that maybe just around four thousand um to have this month and we ended up with nine thousand five hundred twenty eight dollars so that left us with four thousand seven hundred seventy five dollars that minus the overage that we did was four thousand one hundred ninety nine dollars to our surplus so if this were a perfect month we would just take all that money and put it in our savings. That is not what we did. No, it is not. 
So what do we do with that? Um, I, I can't, I'm pregnant. That's playing into a lot of the stuff. A lot of the pieces here are because I'm pregnant. I'll be having the babies in April and, um, some of the things just needed to be done. So, um, Lane Bryant, there was one by me that was going out of business and everything was 80% off. Eight, yeah. 80% off. I stocked up on my underwear and my bras. I got a shirt. I think that's about it. I got a few things of like shapewear and I spent like hardly any money. And then, um, I, my pregnancy, like, um, bougie pregnancy purchase or find has been Lululemon leggings or joggers. And, um, yeah, they're a hundred dollars pop. So I split the money with the bank. I bought a pair of joggers and the bank bought me a pair of leggings no regrets. Um, they're the most comfortable things. If you're pregnant and you don't like maternity stuff, which I just can't stand it. It doesn't fit me right. The Lulu legging align, Lulu lemon align leggings are amazing and they're expensive, but, um, I wear them multiple times a week and they're awesome. Anyway, we had to pay some taxes for Indiana taxes, $238. Um, just random things we needed for the house. A rug, new dishes, and a car wash for my car. It was $92. Um, Claire's getting a big girl room next or later this year, probably. That's either like for her birthday or for like Christmas. I haven't decided yet. Um, but since we had the like influx of money now, I wanted to put the money in a skiing fund for her. I did decide to do a few things before the twins get here to make her room a little more fun. But that was about 50 bucks worth. Um, and the rest of it will be buying um, twin bed and twin mattress and all the bedding and stuff like that. So we set that aside. Um, we got some things we needed for the house on Amazon. Toilet cleaner, a shelf, weird things like that. Um, transferred $400 to Brett for my push present. He has something in mind that he is surprising me with. So I transferred it to him so he can put it on his card. So I don't see what it is because I would see because I see everything in our account. And then we were able to do $2,710 to our savings. So still a really great month. We got a lot of things done that we needed to get done. And I'm very happy with that amount into savings because without Brett moving $3,000 randomly, we wouldn't have been able to do a lot of those things. So he's the real VIP this month. Um, well, what else do we have here? So from our sinking funds, I did a lot of things for the twins, obviously. Janie and Jack Tiger shirts, some stuff from Amazon, some more stuff from Amazon, some stuff from Kate Quinn. <laughs> That's a lot of clothes. Um, Walmart had like Gerber discounts going on. So we did all those. Um, Brett had, um, an oil change and repair to his tire. I had BMV title change stuff go on with my new car. Um, and then the $53 is what I spent on Brett or Clara's big girl room makeover stuff for, for now, not the stuff for later. And then the last thing over here is that we were able to round up all of our purchases and put $13 and 74 cents into Clara's, um, savings account. That's it. Um, anyway, that is the month. It is, it was a whirlwind, <laughs> a lot of weird stuff, but, um, it was a pretty good one. If you enjoy videos like this, be sure to subscribe because I post, um, like, a beginning of the month type of video. And then at the end of the month, I let you know how I did every single month. Um, tomorrow the video will be, um, what March is looking like for us. So you won't want to miss that. If you turn the notification bell on, then you'll be able to get a notification that I posted it. But, um, if you want to find me on the internet, otherwise I'm at the pretty plus on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, And as always, my blog is the pretty plus.com. I post budgeting, pregnancy stuff, family stuff, mom stuff, um, fashion stuff, food recipes and stuff like that. And I hope that you will find me there. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.